Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So today is Wednesday, January 31st. And I am currently here at home. I'm actually getting ready for the gym. Get it out of the way bright and early. It's like 8.30 or 8.45, you know. I took the kids to school and I was being a bum for a little bit. But I'm like, okay, get up. You need to go to the gym, you know. So, we are moving out of our apartment this week. I've been packing all week what I could. Uh, we did go buy like some metal, sorry, some plastic containers. That way we can put our stuff in there. So, that's what I've been doing these past few days. Luckily, I've been off for, from work um, for like the past three days or so. So, that has helped me a lot. Um, I do go back Friday and then we have to be out by the weekend, but I think it's manageable. Uh, both me and Eric were here on Monday and we got quite a bit done. Like all of our kitchen is done. Uh, the kids room, the kids closet is done. But anyway, right now I am getting ready for the gym. And then after I'll probably come back and pack my closet like what I can. And then start moving stuff. Uh, we are going to be moving with my dad for a little bit. And the reason being is we really want to try and buy a house this year. That is one of my main goals. Not only for me, but you know, for my family. Uh, we really want to try and buy a home this year. So we thought, and our lease was actually going to be over here. So we didn't want to like release for like another year. Um, instead, we're going to go move with my dad and get our shit together for, you know, the next few months. Like get our credit established, um, pay, off, pay off some debt, save some money. Um, and that, are, that actually also helped us like get rid of a lot of stuff that we just weren't using. Um, actually yesterday Eric was like it looks so clean like we got rid of a lot of stuff let's just stay <laughs> he's so crazy um, but yeah we got rid of a lot of stuff like stuff that has been like sitting in our closet or in the kids closet in the kids room uh, in the kitchen and we haven't like used it for months um, so yeah we got a lot we got rid of a lot of stuff just because we didn't want to take anything extra that we don't use uh or we're not gonna have like the room for it you know stuff like that and my dad does live by himself so and he lives in a three-bedroom house so we're gonna go stay with him we'll have you know our room the kids will have their room he has a huge yard outside so uh here at the apartment it was very hard for them to go outside and play um, unless like we were out there with them just because it's apartments, you know over there He has a huge yard. It's gated like the kids will be more comfortable playing outside I'm probably gonna go to my dad's to like get stuff situated Probably start taking some stuff that fits in my car um, And then on the weekend probably rent a u-haul and then take like the bigger stuff But whatever I could fit in my car that's probably going today um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to get the gym out of the way. That way I can start, you know, being productive and moving and stuff. But yeah, come spend the day with me. And if thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to show you guys my gym fit. It's a little lazy, but honestly, I've been loving wearing sweats to the gym lately. Just because you're not all like apretada and fucking... Pulling your wedgie out from your leggings or picking them up and pulling your shirt down, you know, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm wearing a dry fit Under Armour shirt and I'm wearing some sweats. Let me see. Let me turn the camera on. This is what I look like right now. <laughs> I was just getting ready a little bit. And I have some little sweats on and my Nikes. Whoa, almost fell. 
but yes i was just getting ready a little bit because when you look good you feel good i feel like whenever you look good at the gym it helps you to push harder or train harder you know or is that just me but right now i'm gonna get my stuff ready like my water i'm gonna take my pre-workout i recently ordered um some new supplements that i wanted to try out um and these past few days i bet i have been taking them for the gym and i really like them i ordered a protein a pre-workout a creatine and bcaa i had never really taken bcaa before uh pre-workout creatine you know obviously protein i've taken before uh so the bcaa is new but i really like it um i'm going by what it says like on the packaging like um as far as like when to take it how much to take it stuff like that so let me show you guys the supplements so these are the supplements that i ordered which i ordered a pre-workout watermelon the bcaa is also watermelon i ordered some creatine and i also got some chocolate uh protein so i'm gonna make my pre-workout and take it here at home since the gym's only like i don't know less than 10 minutes away and then also i take my bcaa and i drink that uh throughout my workout I feel like it really helps me push throughout my entire workout um so i really like it the pre-workout yesterday i did only take one scoop and i mean it was it did help but today i'll probably take one and a half that way i can get that extra push and in the bcaa i've been taking two scoops um and then i like i said i do drink that uh throughout the workout <clears throat> what the fuck and with my pre-workout i really don't like drinking it like putting a lot of water just because it takes me longer to drink and i do like to just chug it all completely so I put about eight ounces of water and then I do one well-rounded scoop. And then today I'm gonna do one and a half or half. There we go. Drop my little ball in there. And I think I finally found a pre-workout that i like to drink because i have the c4 one but i think it's like because like it's like a lemon raspberry or like a raspberry or like a sour one and that one is super sour i mean it works it really gives you that push and you know you feel like a crackhead but the taste like the aftertaste like oh it's just so sour i always i always like i have to drink water like after i drink it also these supplements are called woman's best um i watch christy Sella or christy cella on youtube and this is where i got the supplements from here we go cheers Now to make um, our BCAA amino. So this is what it looks like here. And I also wanted to try them like before I talked about them because I didn't want to like talk about something. I didn't want to like talk about something and then it's like not good, you know. And like I said, the BCAA, like aminos, I've never took before. Um, I did read like the label in the back and it says that you should take it throughout your workout. And I really see why. It helps you like push harder. Like I feel like I get the best out of my workout. I mean, I've only been taking it for a few days, but I feel like it really helps. 
um, this one in the label it says to drink it with more water but since I will be drinking it throughout my workout I, I do um, drink it with 14 ounces of water opposed to eight with the pre-workout and I do it in the same cup and I just take this with me And lastly, just to fill up my water jug, which I do fill it up all the way and I try to drink all of it throughout the whole day. I usually don't finish it um, at the gym. So I at least try to drink this whole thing in my day. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I try my best to. <clears throat> and then creatine I do take whenever I get back. So I'm ready to go. I have my water jug. I have my BCAA. All I have to grab is my phone, my headphones, my keys, and out the door we go also guys today is leg day yesterday i did arms and oh my god my arms are so sore i know it's gonna be worse tomorrow um so today is leg -a day uh, i'm still kind of sore from the day before yesterday but since i am off quite a bit this week i wanted to get the gym in as much as i could I probably won't gym on the weekend just because we're gonna be super busy and I work in the morning then after work we're gonna be moving um so yeah um I try to vlog for you guys at the gym obviously it's gonna be on my phone I really don't like taking my camera because I don't know I just don't feel comfortable with my camera there people are gonna be like yes that kitchen goes to great you know but I will try to vlog for you guys on my phone. So I will see you guys. Uh, so I'll see you guys at the gym. We on the way. The pre-workout is definitely kicking in today. Yesterday I really didn't feel it. Like in my ears and in my face. But today I already do. Um, I literally live maybe like. I don't know. Like six eight minutes away from the gym <clears throat> but it's definitely kicking in i feel it in my ears and i feel it like in my face already if you take pre-workout you know what i'm talking about Okay, you guys, we are here. Put my headphones in. Let's get this fucking workout in. Because we feeling so lit right now. Bro, I'm so lit right now, it's not even funny. But... Let's fucking get it. Also, I do bring a protein shake for after because whenever I get out of the gym, I am starving.
I'm done with my workout for the day. I know the angles were like a little off, but like I mentioned earlier, I am vlogging on my phone. So that's why they were like, my phone was like on the floor, stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little workout with me. If you are unsure about taking like supplements, in my opinion, I feel like they do really help. Obviously the pre-workout to get you that pump that you need. Um, the days that I really don't want to come to the gym or I feel like super lazy. Once I take that pre-workout, I'm like ready to work out. And then like I mentioned also before, also earlier in the video, um, I recently just started taking the BCAA Amino. Um, I highly encourage you to start taking that supplement. That is a supplement that you take uh, throughout your workout. And I feel like it helps you push through the whole thing. Um, I did finish my workout with some cardio like I always do. I usually do like a mile, a mile and a half. Uh, walking or running or on the elliptical. Um, but yes, right now I am going to leave the gym. I'm going to go uh, buy some cleaning supplies. And then I'm going to go home. Or maybe I'll pick up something to eat. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or restaurants, like not like sit down restaurants, but like um, fast food or somewhere you can pick up some high protein meals, please let me know. Because I'm always like, well, I'll pick a food after the gym, but I always just end up going home and making myself a meal because I, f I don't know. I don't know where I could get like a high protein, low carb meal after the gym. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know down below. So, all right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna drink my little protein right now and then we'll see what we eat when we get home. Or maybe I might pick up something, who knows, we'll see. Okay, you guys, I came to my local Walmart to get me a steak. That way I can eat a steak and some eggs when I get home. Um. And then I'm probably going to head to my dad's just so I can start situating stuff over there. Um, I'm going to move what I can in my car and my brother is going to come over. My brother and Alexa are going to come and help me. They have a truck, so they're going to help me move as well, which is awesome. So I'll see you guys at home. Got me a little sirloin steak. Me some huevos, and I have some steak and egg, something quick and simple, high protein, so good. I'm gonna season my steak with some salt, pepper. I feel like me and Eric have perfected our steaks. There was one point where we were eating steaks like. I kid you not, almost every day, every other day at least. Now we're steak masters, you know? Just kidding. <laughs> Start off my steak in oil and then when I'm gonna flip it over to the other side, I put butter. my steak right here my eggs with some salsa and then I'm also having an everything bagel with cream cheese I'm also gonna have my creatine now with eight ounces of water do the creatine eight ounces and then creatine is just one scoop so there's my scoop I guess I'll do the creatine before I do my food. It sounds so empty in here already. I'm so sad. 
I do feel some type of way about leaving our apartment just because we have been here so long, maybe like three years or a little over three years. Um, like this is where the babies grew up. This is kind of like the only home that Delilah has known because when we moved here, she was so little. I doubt she remembers. Um, I could probably say the same with Mason. I don't think he remembers when he was little and we didn't live here. They were both so little whenever we moved here. So me and Eric are like, oh, we feel some type of way leaving here. But just because we created like so many memories here, like the babies grew up here and we've been here for years now. But it is for the better guys. I wanna buy my family a home, somewhere where my kids can grow up and have their own individual room. Right now they have their own room, but they share rooms. Um, we have more space i feel like we're running out of space here um things were starting to get crowded so i tell eric it's all for a good reason um so we're manifesting that by this year we're gonna get our home um but yeah let's eat i'm gonna drink my creatine de un kilo all at once my water ready just because i get a little grossed out we're not grossed out, but I don't like tasting or like having the powder in my mouth. Ugh, I think it's, I don't know, it just grosses me out. <sighs> okay, now we can eat. Let me just show you guys this steak that I made I feel like it's cooked like perfect and I do like to let it rest for some minutes before I cut into it and then I like to cut it thinly sliced I probably won't eat it all this is a huge steak but I can save it for later Maybe eat it like with the meal that I'm going to have later. Let me just rearrange it a little bit. That way you guys can see my steak. Okay, that's all I'm going to cut. Just because I feel like I probably won't eat it all. But let me show you guys the steak real quick. Yum, so good. And I did leave the food on the cutting board just because... Oh no, I'm too lazy to put it on a plate and I'm the only one eating and I'm still going to have to cut the cutting board, so why not? Mmm. Good steak. Some egg with salsa. So good guys this is mine and eric's go-to some steak and some eggs always we love to eat this And bagels and cream cheese are my go-to in the mornings. Whenever I have to go to work and take the kids to school, just pop one of these babies in the toaster, spread some cream cheese on there, and I eat it on my way to work. It's so good. I finished eating my food and probably head to my dad's. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, you guys, I'm back. A little update. Um, I ended up going to my dad's. I just left right now. It is six o'clock 
I was cleaning this entire time. Shout out to my brother and Alexa for coming to help me. He helped me put some new carpet um, and clean up a little bit, which was kind of like the main part. He also helped me bring some stuff to my dad's house. I also brought some stuff in my car. Right now I'm actually on my way to go get the kids and then probably go home, make dinner and call it a day. Um, I'm off tomorrow as well. So tomorrow I'll probably come back or probably bring more stuff. Just that way, Sunday, which is our last day that we have to be, which is the last day that we have our apartment, which like on Sunday we have to be completely out of there. We're not like rushing. Tomorrow is Thursday. So I'll still try to fit in my car, whatever fits. And yeah, thank you so much guys for spending the day with me. I think this is gonna conclude today's vlog. Like I said, I'm just gonna go get the kids. We're gonna go home, probably have dinner, wait for Eric to get home from work. And that's it. See you guys on the next one.